Hi, welcome you again. Thank you very much for being with us. Today, I'm going to teach you about uh, export and import data. That means how to uh, uh, import data from Excel files to ArcGIS or to import data, uh, something like that. So today's lecture will, uh, will, will be all about export and import data. OK, let's see. So we'll cover uh, uh, the export and import data things. OK, let's see how to export and import data. Uh, for example, I have um, this Excel data which consists, which is the earthquake file, and I have got this data file from uh, USGS NECI. Okay, so there is a huge data when I here, so I cannot uh, plot individual data using this, and so I have got uh, latitude longitude uh, of the earthquake event. And its respective magnitude, its depth, its origin time, its day, month, year, etc. For example, we have this huge data, right? And we have about <coughs> how many data we have? We have about uh, 350 data. So we cannot plot this data individually, right? So sometimes we will have uh, data in GPS. We can move to uh, field for gathering data. Uh, this this may be a huge amount of data it may be thousands it, even it can be millions of data right so you cannot do that um, individually plot right so what you have to do you have to uh, import this data to ArcGIS and this process those data and then analyze okay so this lecture will all about how to import this data to uh, ArcGIS data to our, to our guess and how to process and how to project this data okay? okay for this reason you must have latitude and longitude information so i have the latitude and longitude information and this latitude and longitude are degree decimals right the degree decimal so it can be in degree decimal or it can be in meter or it can be in kilometer it doesn't matter but it cannot be in degree minute second format for example um this this i have this data as well these are the degree minute format degree minute format so i cannot convert this data to convert this data here so what i have to do before going through this uh, in case of this kind of data so what i have to do you have to convert this data to a degree decimal or meter something like this so how you can convert this is very easy there are lots of software to convert um, this degree degree minute seconds data to degree decimal or meter Either you can do it manually if you have very small amount of data. For example, we know for 60 seconds is equal to one minute, right? For 60 degree is equal to one degree, right? So we have here one minute, right? So how can we how we can convert this one minute to degree? So all we have to convert data to degree. For example, uh, we know that uh, 60 minutes. Okay, sorry, I'm sorry, I've got a call. Okay, no matter. So I've been telling about um, how to convert this degree, degree minute seconds data to degree decimal. Okay, so it's very easy. For example, uh, you have three minutes. So how you can convert three minutes to degree? So you know, uh, sixty minutes is equal to one degree, right? So you can easily convert how three minutes um, what is the three minutes is, is equal to in degree right so you can then uh, you will get this uh, minute into a degree form then you can add with uh, 26 so you will get then 26 point something degree right so this is the way how you can um, calculate the, uh, and convert this data into a degree decimal format okay so this is one of the important things you must have to know otherwise you will pay some trouble in future okay so so i have i have got this map i have got this data so i will import this and to process this okay so i will show this now okay so for this reason for, uh, how you can import this data for this i have to go to file and add data using the add xy data so uh, I here is the choice of table from the map or browse and the table. So I have to browse where is my data. So I have to browse it here. So my data is D. 
name and map or dark page excellence so if you add this then you will get the different sheet sheet one sheet two sheet three for example um, i have here sheet one sheet two sheet three so i will add one of the sheet one data so sheet one okay then you will get x fill longitude okay y fill you have to choose latitude Z fill. If you want Z fill, then you have to choose the uh, magnitude, for example. So it doesn't matter. So any any kind of data you can, other than X and Y for Z fill. Okay. So coordinate system. So you have to define the geographic system first. So for example, go geographic coordinate system, world, WGS 1984. Okay. So I have already defined this. You, you are warned that this table doesn't have any object ID. Definitely, um, uh, in our table, we do not have any object ID, right? So, RxGIS will automatically put an object ID for individual data. For example, this will be under object ID 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. And that's the thing we are warned about, okay? So, okay. Okay, so we have got our uh, Excel data, these are the earthquake data here. So it's in format is degree decimal. So um, I cannot see its open attribute table here because it lacks, it, uh, uh, we are already one that it lacks. Um, uh, here, you cannot see that because it lacks uh, object ID. So uh, for, for object ID creation, you have to export this data as shape file export this data so what you have to do you have to right click here then data export if we export this data shape file then we'll get its object object id and we'll get all the information in shape file so what you can see uh, we can save it to desktop make a make a folder name is back okay so in between this name it if you are correct as shape file so save as type so we'll save this type as shape file okay so eq dot s a s p save this okay yeah so you would again want that do you want to add uh, the exported data to the map as a layer okay if you want then you have to press yes if you do not want then you have to press no okay I'm gonna add yes okay so this color is <laughs> green earthquake data so i can delete this okay, so if you want to see its open attribute table then you can use this all the data have been already imported and um, uh, you will get that every data um, every data point is under uh, field id so field id okay so now you can analyze and whatever you want you can do that this is the first step so for processing um, if you go to data properties then we'll get uh, it is only uh, geographically coordinate system defined so you have to project this data for this reason what do you have to do uh, you have to go to toolboxes system toolboxes um, the same uh, data management tool in projection and transformation as it is feature so you have to go to feature and project it so it's coming back mm, generally we do this the same procedure for gps data import okay so put this up quick simple uh, input coordinate system is defined this is wg this is output coordinate system would be our utm projected coordinate system utm WGS 1984 uh, as you are located in northern hemisphere so northern hemisphere so in the projection and coordinate system class we have said that uh, in UTM zone there are several zones so uh, in this zone we are located 44 46 zones so we can select 44 zones okay 44 so it's different so if you uh, want to save then we can go to desktop thing for the upcake so if you make a file 
pro project state data okay let me tell you one thing that you shouldn't put all the geographic coordinate system that means the non-projected data uh, you shouldn't put all the non-projected data with projected data because sometimes it will make some confliction okay conflict so you have to put those data or save those projected data separately other than a non coordinate system so i made a projected data name folder for projected data so if if you p here projected planification i do always use p for projected data and for non projected data i do not use this okay so p to this you want this okay uh, it might be working yeah it might be working and it is working yes yes the project is has been completed so I have to close this now and I have to open the open map <coughs> sorry and I've got call that's why I'm coughing for the last couple of days okay so if you, if you want to add uh, is that what is it's a desktop basket to the data okay okay yes it's projected and it shows in meter if you go to data frame properties then you will see yes it shows both geographic and projection coordinate system uh, we projected this data using 45 uh, using the utm zone 45 north okay so this is the way how we can uh, uh, import the data to rxgs from external files for example uh, it might be in um, Excel file and even you can import those data in um, uh, Word file text file for example if you have text file then you can um, Copy those data into Excel format then you can get this data easily Okay, so, so This is the way how we can do that another way so if you interested to So this is the way you can do that. Okay. For example, if you want to interest to uh, copy this data only, then you can copy select it. All the data will be copied here. Then you can copy it to Excel file. It is copied. New. Okay. So you can do that in same way in RGS. So if you want all, then what do you have to do? Um, uh, you have to copy all the data, for example, this. Then it has been copied, selected, selected. Then you have to right click here and copy select. Okay, copy selected. You can. Right click here. Yes. yes. All the data have been copied here. Yes. So this is the this is the easy way how you can import data to RxJS or how you can export data from RxJS. So for your convenience, this is a very important thing while you will do work with a huge volume of data. So thank you very much for being with us. I hope uh, you enjoyed this lecture and you understood what I tried to make you understand. Next, in next inform next lecture, we will see how to take information from Google Earth because Google Earth has uh, updated images of the art. So from this, how we can export or take from special data uh, into our GIS format. Okay, thank you very much for being with us. Hopefully, we'll see you again.